Good morning, my friends. It's Sunday, October 8th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. This is the shore of Honolulu on the island of Oahu in Hawaii. I will be finding a little Episcopal church on the island this morning as I'm here at a conference with my husband. Time to write, time to pray, time to walk, hike, and think. It is so beautiful here. I'm glad I can take you with me. In our worship this morning, we're given a gift of the 10 words. In Hebrew, they're really the 10 words, not the 10 commandments. They were written by God. The only time in scripture that a pen actually does come down from heaven, or not a pen, probably a finger, and carves onto stone these 10 words. Why did God need to give us commandments? I love the image of, if pretend you're at the Grand Canyon and you have a toddler, my God, you're terrified that the toddler's gonna run off a cliff. So you can't be free and the toddler can't be free. You have to hold on tight to that toddler and he's miserable and you're miserable. But then someone builds a playground with a very strong wrought iron fence. The slats are not too far apart and inside there's this beautiful playground. When you put your toddler in the playground, he can be free and he can play and he doesn't, he's not in danger of running off of a cliff. The 10 words are like that for us. We're like toddlers on this complex planet and universe. We don't really know what is best for us. So God gives us a fence, not to punish us, but to keep us safe. God says, remember that I'm God and you're not. That's pretty important. Remember not to kill or steal, not to covet. Remember to rest and take a Sabbath day. Honor your father and mother. These are basic fence around our lives. And if we adhere to these 10 words, then we can be free to express ourselves and to live our lives fully. God was protecting us from ourselves. The law is not meant to punish you. It's meant to protect you. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you that in your great love, you gave us the 10 words. And then when we couldn't understand them or adhere to them, you gave us your son, Jesus, the logos, the word of God. Thank you for that gift. And thank you for the gift of this earth, the magnificence of this planet, the joys of life. Help us, Lord, to serve you in this life. We ask you to bless the sick and the suffering, those who mourn, those who are dying. We ask you to bless those who are incarcerated or struggling with mental illness or addiction. We ask that you would guide our footsteps today, Lord, that we may do your work in this world. We ask that you would grant us your peace that passes all understanding that all over this world, the human race would become more enlightened and live in the knowledge and love of you. All this we pray in the name of Jesus, your son, who loved us and gives himself for us even now. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.